Hi guys, this is Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. So guys, I've got another very interesting product to test today. Today I will be testing a smartwatch from the company called Yingji. Now this watch is model C2 and this claims to have all those amazing features that you find in any fancy smartwatch like Apple or Samsung. So let's do the unboxing first and then we will test the different features and functions of this watch and also compare with other watches in the market. All right guys, so now let's uh, do the unboxing. So the watch comes in a black box like this. Um, it's quite nice. It has a sleeve on top. So you can see uh, the sleeve has some of the main features mentioned right at the back um, and the image of the watch on the front. Let's open it. It's um, a nice cover. Let's take that out and then we can see the watch. Okay, so we'll come back to this in a bit. All right, so we've got the instructions manual. So it's in Arabic, Spanish and English. So then we've got some uh, replacement pins. And then finally we have uh, the cable to charge the watch. So this is the magnetic charging cable which is slightly different to the ones that you usually see with uh, uh, watches like Samsung or um, uh, Apple. Uh, they're more of a round one uh, like I have here for my other Samsung watch. So you usually see them round, but this is uh, a, a different unique one that, uh, that we have for this watch and I'll, I'll show you how to connect it with the watch. All right guys, so this is all we have in the box. So let's put everything on the side and then now focus on the watch itself. Now let's look at the watch uh, more closely. Uh, it comes with a silicone strap. Uh, seems to be quite durable, quite strong. Now looking at the back, you can see the sensor right in the middle then you know these two dots are where you plug in the magnetic uh, charging cable uh, it's a really nice 1.3 inch HD AMOLED screen um, with a zinc alloy frame seems to be quite strong and now let's switch it on all right, so it takes three seconds uh, for the watch to switch on. Uh, this is the pre-installed um, face. Now, if you look at the resolution, it's 360 by 360. Um, very, very clear, I must say. Now, if we compare this to the Samsung watch, this is Samsung uh, S2. And you can see the size of the screen is Samsung is slightly smaller. Uh, this is must be 1.1 inch. This is 1.3. Uh, but if you look at the clarity of the screen, the, I would say this is very, very nice. Now let's compare it with the Samsung's new S4 watch, which is this one. Now again, the screen size probably is slightly smaller. Uh, for the Samsung watch um, but if you look at the, this uh, Jingji C2 uh, it looks slightly bigger and also much clearer and then finally let's look at the Sam's, uh, the Apple watch now obviously uh, the style of the watch face dial is slightly different this is a round one this is a squarish one uh, uh, but in terms of again the clarity uh, not a lot of different There you go 
the best thing about this watch is is definitely the battery you know the battery can last up to nine days with regular usage and up to 25 days uh, on saver mode it also has uh, you know all the functions that you find in any smartwatch like the health management the the fitness assistant function uh, and and many more you know it can track about 14 different sports and so you can wear this watch while you're playing any sport and it will track your calories it will track your heartbeat your oxygen level and so on so let me show you how to connect the magnetic uh, charging cable so as you can see these two dots here you just need to connect this that's it and then you can connect this with power or you can connect it with any uh, USB slot so let's have a closer look at the smartwatch this is your main face of the watch uh, you press it for a second then it takes us to this page where we can actually go and change the face if you want Now these are all the pre-installed one, but you know through the mobile app you can actually go and uh, and you know download many more uh, different faces. Now click on this. Uh, now if you swipe up, you will be able to see the latest messages. If you swipe down, you see this short menu page where you can go to the settings options, uh, power off the smartwatch, uh, in adjust the brightness. Uh, this is information about the device. Then you can ping your mobile and then the final uh, do not disturb option as well. Now, if you swipe this to the left, you get to see this fitness page, uh, blood pressure, sleep monitor, and so on. And then if you swipe it to the right, you get to this main menu page of the smartwatch. All right, so let's look into the settings menu first. Uh, within the settings menu, you have, yeah, so the first option is the brightness. You click on this and you can adjust the brightness of the screen. The second one is the screen time. This is the time the, the face of the watch stays awake and activated. Uh, the third one is raise to wake. Now this also takes um, the time for the watch to stay awake. Then you have uh, the different face watches. As I said, there are some pre-installed ones, but uh, you can go to your mobile app and install a lot more uh, faces. They also have the always on display clock. Now, this is a very interesting feature uh, because you don't really find this in a lot of the smart watches these days. Now, this allows me to have the clock uh, switched on all the time, not only when you, you know, lift your wrist, but it is on all the time. You can either have the digital clock or the analog clock, or you can always uh, shut it down if you want to. Then you can also set the vibration and uh, you can switch it off or have a soft or a strong vibration. For This is for uh, notifications or phone calls. Then we get to the languages and then we also have the menu style. Now, there are two types of menu styles. One is a li list style and the other one is a smart style. Now the smart style is what I have already on, the dial style. The first or the first one is the list style. If you want to see that, it appears like this, you know, it's a list kind of a style. Okay, go, let's go back to the settings menu and let me change it to the smart style because that's what I like. Uh, then you also have uh, the QR code. Now this QR code is for uh, downloading the mobile application and we will download that in a while. And then finally you have the settings where you have um, device uh, information, Bluetooth name and some other details. You also have the option of shutting down the watch or resetting it. So that is all that we have within the settings menu. Now then we have uh, another option which is the female health tracker. Now I've set my gender as male obviously, so I would not be able to see some of the KPIs for the female health reminder here. Uh, then we have the oxygen level. Next is, this is the workout records by day, by month, uh, whatever you set. 
then you've got the messages uh, then you've got uh, the steps and the distance and the calories burned uh, then you've got this is an interesting one here now you you have a lot of uh, sports activities installed on this uh, watch and uh, you can track your performance by clicking on the sport that you are playing let's say if you're playing basketball baseball click on baseball and then with the three to one countdown it starts um, the timer of, of your activity and then eventually it will tell you your blood pressure during that activity and as well as the calories burned let's end that activity go back and the next one is the weather um, quite simple uh, and then we have music now if the mobile is connected with your watch then you would be able to play music through this watch uh, then you've got sleep monitor. Uh, this is the sleep tracker, uh, which is really a useful application. Then you've got the blood pressure, heart rate monitor. Uh, then you've got, this is the breathing exercise reminder. You can set it up to one minute or two minute. Uh, then you've got uh, the timer, the different timer options. And then finally, we have the stopwatch uh, installed on this watch as well. Uh, that's it guys. These are all the different options available on this smartwatch. So let's uh, install the application uh, for the smartwatch. So we have to go search for the on Wear app. It's available in Google Play Store as well as Apple App Store. Uh, we have to create a new account. All right, so this is the home page of the smartwatch uh, app. Now you will be able to see and track the different KPIs of health and fitness. So for example, steps, you click on this, you'll be able to see steps covered uh, by days. Uh, you go back, you have your exercise, heart rate, it will track your heart rate for the month. Uh, you've got sleep patterns, weight, you know, all the different KPIs that you have. There you go. So it's a very user friendly application. Uh, let's go and check out uh, some of the different uh, dials or the faces of the watch. Uh, let's find uh, a nice one then we will install that uh, let's do this one click on sync you can see it's kind of syncing with the watch mm, there you go it was that simple I really like the style so they've got tons and tons of different faces. So this watch is actually a 3 ATM waterproof rated watch. Uh, so we will do this test to see if it actually is a waterproof watch. So let's uh, switch on the dial, put it in. Yeah, seems to be working fine. So this watch passes the waterproof test. Finally, I wanted to show you guys this comparison sheet where I have listed some of the important features of smartwatches. And then I have compared this Kobe C2 watch with some of the other well-known smartwatches in the market. <clears throat> Considering the amazingly low price of this watch, and all the great features, especially the battery life, I would see this watch as a very serious competitor to the big names like Samsung and Apple. I have tested this watch extensively over the last few days and I can say that it has performed exceptionally well so far. I give this watch a very high rating. If you really like this watch and you're interested to buy, uh, just go to the links that I have provided in the description of this video. It will take you directly to the website of the manufacturer where you can make a purchase.
If you have any questions about this device, just drop me a WhatsApp message. Uh, I've provided a direct WhatsApp message link in the description of this video. Finally, please do subscribe to the channel, like this video and share it with your friends. Thanks.